Good morning, my darlings. <laughs> Starting today's vlog from slap bang in the middle of Hyde Park. I feel like I've got the place to myself. It is so strange. London feels so quiet. It's actually quite eerie. Add on to that the fact that I've just walked past a horse and carriage that looks like it's from the 1920s or even older than that. I literally feel like I've gone back in history. It is so quiet here, so strange. <laughs> um, but I caught the 8.30 train in to Marlebone this morning and I'm walking to Harvey Nichols. I'm gonna have some breakfast by myself <laughs> at Farm Girl. Um, and then I've got a facial, which is why I'm not wearing any makeup. And that's at the Light Clinic. I didn't see the point in putting any makeup on to literally take it off again as soon as I go into town. And then I've got an appointment at Blink Brow Bar. Finally gonna get my brows shaped and it's a full day of pampering. So it's nice to get a little bit of fresh air in before it rains a bit later. But yeah, it definitely feels weird to be in this ghost town of a capital city. Good day to you sir and your friend. Another casual horse parade through Hyde Park. They must be making the most of the fact that it's a little bit more quiet at the moment. They're doing their practices. So British. I love it. So I'm in Zara. I think the changing rooms are closed, but I thought I would just show you a few things that I've found. The mirrors are weirdly dark. It's not very good for actually looking at your clothes in. Um, but these are only $29.99, like a faux leather trouser. And I think they look really, really nice. I think they'll be pretty comfortable as well. I wish I could try them on, but I might take a bit of a punt at $29.99. And then these are some high-rise cigarette trousers. I think they look like they could be pretty flattering. Nice for work, if work ever resumes to normal. But I think they look like they could be some really nice, comfortable trousers to wear at home as well. Love how high-waisted they are. That is a humongous high-waist. This has very much got Kate vibes about it. Worn with some high-waisted trousers, that could be rather gorgeous. Oh, and if you loved my bag from the shoot in the flower field, they have still got it in stock in the Zara in Knightsbridge. So the first couple of beauty appointments I've got this morning are here at Harvey Nicks, actually in the ground floor beauty lounge. I thought I was gonna be going up to the fourth or fifth floor, um, but I'm going to the light salon and then Blink Brow Bar. I thought I would be able to just have a little mooch around for 20 minutes before my appointment, but turns out most of the shops don't even open until 11, so I'm just going to be stood outside for 10 minutes like a kino, but I can show you inside, it looks really cute. So this I think is part of their nail salon, possibly, um, possibly the nails ink section. Looks really lovely, I have had a massage in here before, so we shall see. I'm going to turn this into a full on pamper day. My next stop is London Grace. I'm having my gel toe nail polish <laughs> taken off at the moment and deciding what color to go for. I'm usually pretty nude or corally pink on my feet. So quite tempted by this gotcha shade. I think that'll look really nice when I do a little bit of self tanning. They've got two new colors at London Grace. This one is Flower Bed Folly and this one is Fuji Love. Both I think are so nice, like wearable nudes for autumn. And I have got Fuji Love on my toes and it looks absolutely gorgeous, almost brownie, but kind of like a pinky brown. It's so, so pretty. Well, hello darlings. It is now the next day. We have merged into another two day vlog. When I'm having my beauty treatments done, I kind of just want to enjoy them and not be vlogging in the process. So I hope you don't mind. I thought I would just run through them all today in the comfort of my own home. You might be able to guess, but I've actually propped you up on some hyaluronic acid capsules in the bathroom cabinet. Um, so yesterday, my day started as you saw in Harvey Nicks. I went to the beauty rooms and first of all, went to the light clinic for my LED facial. This was my first time having 
just an LED treatment as opposed to it being like an add-on to another facial. So you're in the chair for 20 minutes, you have the LED light over your face and it's just nice and relaxing but also LED is really good for strengthening the skin's barrier. So when you're out in the city and you don't want like pollution and things like that, it's just good at helping the skin to help itself if that makes sense. Pretty affordable as far as facials go as well. I did choose to pay £20 extra to have the papaya enzyme peel mask and that was on just for a few minutes and then she did some manual extraction which was a little bit eye-watering um, but especially on my chin and on my nose I just really really needed it so yeah I feel like I'm glowing a little bit more today. Then I literally walked two meters down the corridor to Blink Brow Bar and I had my brows threaded Honestly, I feel like a new woman. I feel so much better having my skin sorted out, my brows sorted out. And what I love about Blink is that they actually give you like a face and head and neck massage afterwards. And it's such a small thing. It's like a five minute massage, but I just felt so much better afterwards. So that was really lovely. Next time I will get my lashes and brows tinted as well, but I hadn't had a patch, patch test in so long that I wasn't able to do it yesterday. Next, I went to London Grace and they had two new colours. Actually, I think they had about four new colours, um, but I could only use two. So I have Flower Bed Folly on my fingers. And then I think you saw, I can't remember the name of it, the one that I popped on my toes. So I had a Top Notch Manny and Petty. And as always, just a really, really lovely experience. They always do such a good job. I feel like these are just the most gorgeous colours as we go into autumn. This morning, by the way, I unboxed a new ring from Missima. That's this one here, which I think is gorgeous. And then via a quick pit stop at Shake Shack, because I couldn't resist a little a quick burger and cheese fries. I went to Trevor Sorby. My appointment was with Ben and we were using Kerastar's products to get me blonde again. So always the day, the day after a hair appointment, it's always very blonde and then it will kind of settle down a little bit. So originally I went in hoping for balayage where my roots were like that long. I don't think my roots had ever been that bad before. Even you guys were starting to leave comments on videos like, Josie, when are you gonna go and get your hair done? So I thought that'd be a good time to do balayage, but Ben said, actually the regrowth needs to be even longer. He was like, you need to leave it another about four to six weeks to get it down to about there to give even more room to create that gradient. So balayage was not an option, unfortunately. He said, I'm happy to just do the front with highlights and then you wait for the balayage. But I thought about it and I just, I just can't wait any longer. So I've gone back to my usual treatment, which is of course highlights. I like to get really beautiful, creamy blonde highlights put in and it just looks so lovely and natural. And then when I was in the basin, I had a Fusio dose treatment. This is something that Kerastars do and it's very bespoke to your hair. So, and this very kindly was covered by Kerastars, thank you. They basically look at your hair and decide what it needs. So my hair needed strengthening and I think hydration was the other dose that they gave me. So they create a bespoke treatment in the basin and it's really good, especially for after you've had your hair colored because Obviously putting blonde color into your hair is one of the most damaging things you can do to your hair. So anything you can do to treat the hair afterwards, your hair will thank you for it. So now I don't have roots and I'm so, so happy about it. I'm so thrilled to be blonde again. So I thought again, I would make this into a two day vlog. So today is Friday. Um, it's actually gonna be quite a busy Friday. We've got quite a lot going on in the house today. But on Fridays, I do like to take my laptop into the family room and I'm not gonna lie, pop the telly on and just get through stuff with a little bit of background entertainment at the same time. Sorry if you can hear a little bit of drilling. And I also have some new clothes, which I want to try on with you. I've got some bits from H&M, um, some bits from Sandro and French Connection and, and other stories. As the seasons are changing, I am investing a little bit more in my autumn wardrobe at the moment. But before I do that, I am going to download some new bits and bobs on Netflix. I'm working with Surfshark again on today's video. I've worked with them in the past and you guys have actually been sending me messages um, letting me know what you have been using the VPN for. So as a reminder, Surfshark is a VPN 
a virtual private network. You can download it on your phone, your laptop, your iPad, wherever you like to consume your internet media. And what it does is it basically places your device anywhere in the world. So it's particularly great if, for example, you want to watch something online, um, but your home country doesn't have it yet. Let's take, for example, Parks and Recreation. It's something that I absolutely love. And I was messaging my friend that lives in Hong Kong about it. And he was like, what is this program? So I was like, just go on Netflix and you'll find it. And he couldn't find it. It wasn't available where he lived. So I sent him all the information about Surfshark. You literally just log in, choose the country from the drop down list. And there are thousands of or hundreds of countries that you can choose from whatever country you want to place your device in and you get the added benefit of extra layers of security and then once he changed the location of his device he was able to find parks and recreation so now he finally understands my jokes and when I tell him to treat yourself he now understands which is excellent so you basically have global access to things like Netflix is just one example it's how I personally use it the most um, but whether you're online shopping or you want to download something which is available in a different country it is just super duper easy to use you can use it on unlimited devices 30 days money back if you're not happy with it. I'm also going to leave a link in the description box down below, but basically with the code Mumbler, you can get three extra months for free and 85% off. It is the most incredible deal. So I'll leave all the information for that down below. Now it's time for me to do some trying on and show you some new pieces for my autumn wardrobe. Before I do that, we have actually swapped over our snug sofa in the snug room because they just released sofa beds and they, the team were really good at letting us swap our old one because we are desperate for as many beds in this house as possible. So this is the Rebel 3 sofa bed in forest green and we're going to set it result, up. result though, isn't it? Because it, we initially got the two-seater. Mm -hmm. I think we must have measured it up slightly wrong. Because this three-seater, I think, is going to fit perfectly in here. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. So it arrives. What I love about it is, I don't know if the guys watching will be familiar with the house enough to know that up here on the top floor, it's logistically a nightmare getting furniture up here, isn't it? Mm. Like, we wouldn't get a full sofa up here. Even armchairs up here no. is challenging. We'll go into that in detail in another video. Um, so this comes in pieces. It's called, I mean, it's just amazing. It arrives in boxes. This is it? the biggest bit. This is the biggest bit, but still two of us getting it up here is, you know, is easy. Amazing. So right, let's set it up. And then get the legs on. Get the legs on. Just screw these bad boys on. It comes with, um, if you want to show, where's the instructions? It comes with these, look. I, I also think that they're very, very clear. Mm. For instructions, I think they're pretty damn good. Yep, one, two, three, four. Okay, now the bed's set up, I am going to do a little bit of a try on haul for you. I'm going to do this now as opposed to in a separate video because H&M stuff sells out so quickly if I literally don't show it to you the day that it arrives here then there is no chance that you guys will be able to shop it which is very annoying and I often see you guys um, saying that you're upset that you missed things so yes, going to show you what's in my latest H&M order, um, including at the end of my rail, this is the coat that I have been sharing like crazy and it is the one which I think is an incredible Max Mara dupe. Um, I've been sharing it on my stories, I shared it on my newsletter, so hopefully lots of you will already have seen this and been able to purchase it. This is actually made from recycled wool. It's from their slightly more premium collection where it's got the Manteco label in here. But first I'm gonna try on some of the more casual bits because I don't feel like this will look that great over my jogging bottoms and little jumper that I've got on now. Okay, so very random, but I'm gonna do the try on clips out here in the corridor because it is absolutely pouring with rain and everywhere is very dark. So this is a place where we have quite good light. Something else that was in my H&M order is 
this little headband, which now I can show you because I don't have huge roots in my hair, but it's um, a kind of brownie dog tooth pattern on it. And I absolutely love a headband. So I feel like this is something that will be a very welcome addition to my autumn accessories. But yeah, this is the coat. Definitely oversized. So if you are between sizes, I would recommend going down. But as hopefully you'll agree, I think it looks very luxurious, very premium. It certainly feels really, really warm. It is wool, of course. And wool is a very warm material. So it's going to keep you nice and toasty when the temperatures do start to drop. Got a really big lapel, deep pockets, which I haven't unpicked yet um, and a really nice robe style what's the word tie here which just makes it super duper cozy I love the color as well I think it's a really flattering kind of caramel color so this gets a massive thumbs up from me I cannot wait to be able to do this in my dressing room. I don't know when I'm next going to update you. Basically at the moment, literally right now, it's being painted. But I think that's a pretty big job. And then there are a couple of doors which we needed really precise measurements for. So um, Carl the carpenter, now that he's done all the work around them, has been able to take those precise measurements. And now the final doors can get made but they can take up to a couple of weeks to get made. And I've also just inquired as to whether I can get coving, you know, like how you get at the top of walls, at the top of the wardrobes, because I just felt that they looked a little bit unfinished. And I noticed on the Heritage Instagram, a lot of their wardrobes have coving. So yeah, we will see. But anyway, it'll be very nice to be able to do this kind of unboxing and clothes showcasing in the beautiful dressing room. This next thing that I ordered is this dress. I had wanted something sage in my wardrobe for a little while. I think it is very much Lydia's influence, but I actually think it's a very flattering colour. I'm surprised it's not really been a colour that we've naturally gravitated towards before. Maybe it's because we've all been spending so much time in our gardens lately. This is quite a short little dress, so I'm going to give that a try. And here is the green dress. It's quite small, so I would recommend um, sizing up, especially when it comes to getting it on, and the waistband is particularly tight. Love this bow detail along the neckline. The material itself is a really nice kind of garden print. I think the length is very flattering just above the knees, and I like that the bodice is quite smart with the long sleeves. You've got a shirt style detail in the sleeves here. Again, I think it looks really cute with this headband, which is actually not from H&M. I just unboxed it at the same time, but I'll leave it linked down below anyway. Yes, I think this colour is very flattering, and I think we'll be seeing a lot more of this earthy shade during the autumn months. Speaking of which, I'm debating whether to do a bit of an autumn edit. If you've been around my channel for a little while, you'll know that I love to do like a spring fashion week edit, an autumn fashion edit. So let me know if you'd like to see one of those and how soon is too soon. Could I do it next week? Because a lot of my favorite retailers have got the most gorgeous stuff in at the moment. And I have been buying quite a lot lately, which I'd love to share with you. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see. This is one that definitely needs a steam, but a beautiful silhouette. It's got kind of this ruffle detail along the bodice and then puffy sleeves and a beautiful midi dress. It looks very, is it prairie girl? Is that how you describe this trend? But I do love a good white dress, so I'll be interested to see how this works in my collection. Okay, this really is very lovely, very me, and a really nice affordable white dress if you're looking for one to add to your wardrobe, but you don't want to spend a lot of money because you're not sure about caring for a white dress. Although I would say, don't be too scared, things wash very easily. The silhouette on this is just absolutely perfect. Puff sleeves, ruffles around the bodice, and then you've got quite a high waist, which does give the illusion of slightly longer legs. And then you've got this gorgeous full midi skirt. It ticks a lot of boxes when it comes to what I look for in a white dress. So yes, I've got many, 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 but I will be adding this one to my collection. And another little white dress. This one is the kind of dress which you can just throw on really easily, but look like you've made a real effort, especially if you pair it with some really nice accessories. I think with a beautiful bag, this will look gorgeous. Once again, a very simple little white dress with puffy sleeves and the material I really like. It's kind of like a seersucker material, which I always think looks very expensive. This little white puffy dress, as predicted, just really, really easy one to wear. It's 
it's not lined so as you can see it's a little bit on the see-through side so you just want to be conscious to be wearing it the right kind of nude underwear lengthwise really pretty i love the material love the amount of puff puff <laughs> that the sleeves have really really nice silhouettes this could be really nice for layering some pretty jewelry if you've got a couple of nice necklaces very simple but very very pretty i actually ordered this jumper and this one with the intention of only keeping one this one is a lot more affordable um but this one i just i love it it's just the softest material got these little covered buttons and i do feel my best wearing pink so maybe i will end up keeping both of them but just perfect for adding a little touch of pink to my outfit when i'm relaxing around the house and i think especially when it starts to get a little bit colder in the cooler months i will literally be living in sweaters like this when I'm working from home, relaxing from home. So actually, I don't think I can have too many in my collection. And as predicted, this is just super cozy, super comfortable. It's got quite a lot of stretch to it as well. So it's just really easy to put on, which is great if you're trying to avoid getting makeup on your clothing. Color-wise, extremely flattering. I absolutely love this tone of pink. It's a little bit oversized. I did get an extra small, um, but it's still nice and roomy. So I've just popped it on with my Sweaty Betty lounge trousers and this is an absolutely perfect working from home outfit for me and then to be honest this is the one thing in the order which already i'm thinking i probably will return it's from their divided collection which i think is either their slightly younger range or slightly more affordable range but it is this dress and i'm always intrigued by things like this because it could have been an absolute winner it was definitely worth taking a punt on because they've had so many great dresses lately but the material um has got these little kind of polka dots in it which you can see are a little bit metallic you've got the ruffle around the neckline and it is the length that i love but i think given my love for the dresses that i bought earlier in the year from h&m this one i just I, I don't know i don't think it has a place in my wardrobe but we'll see and this is going to look absolutely awful with what i'm wearing now but i saw this felt fedora hat on h&m um, and again i thought this was worth a try i think i'll be wearing a lot of hats Throughout the winter, I'm a big lover of hats, whether it's a straw hat in summer to keep the sun off my head, um, or a wool hat in winter to keep my head nice and warm. Great solution for bad hair days. So yeah, I think I will get a lot of use out of something like this with a more neutral toned outfit. And hats can be very expensive, so I thought it was definitely worth giving it a try. But let me try this on with something a little bit more appropriate. Even though it's not a hugely autumnal outfit, I do think the hat looks a little bit better with the white dress. I think I have quite a large head because hats always seem to kind of sit on my head as opposed to... I don't know. I feel like it should go on a little bit more. Is that how the cool girls wear them? A little bit further back? Maybe that's how to do it. I'm a little bit out of practice with the felt hats. I've just been wearing straw hats for so long. But yeah, I think that is a really nice, affordable addition to an autumn accessories collection. And then downstairs, I've just remembered I haven't bought them up yet, is a pair of boots, um, which I think look really, really lovely and they were a great price. And I also purchased two little vases and they were a really good price. Charlie very kindly bought me some flowers this morning from Quince and Clover, which is close to Soho Farmhouse. Um, he often goes home via Quince and Clover to get some salads if we don't have much in the house for lunch. And they look really beautiful in the new vase. So I got it in two different sizes. <sighs> So that's everything that I got from H&M. I'll leave them all linked down below. Do make sure you're following me on Instagram, by the way, because when I find amazing bits like this, especially like the coat, I do share them on my Instagram first, and that way you'll be able to snap them up before they sell out. So now, excitingly, I am doing an Instagram live on the By Terry account to launch their Balm de Rose um, skincare range, which is so exciting because I just adore that brand so much. So that's why I've not topped up my makeup today because I'm going to be taking it off on Instagram. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. That starts in about half an hour. So I'm just going to check my phone is fully charged, find an area with okay lighting considering it's pouring with rain outside and yeah, get started. Okay, I'm in the bathroom. This seems to be the place with the best light given that it's so miserable outside. It's currently 3.57, I'm going live in three minutes. I'm a little bit nervous. There's half a million followers on the By Terry account, so who knows how many people are gonna be tuning in. 
Um, but I think I'll just leave this camera. No, I'm not gonna film it on this camera. That's just added pressure. Hopefully a lot of you will have tuned in. If not, that's very sad because you will have missed out on the opportunity to win the cleansing trio. But anyway, I'm gonna take a few deep breaths and start my life. I had a bit of a fangirl moment. So I'm gonna be showing my evening routine using the cleansing trio with you. So first of all, a few hours later and dinner is served. Seeing as it's Friday, we are treating ourselves to a curry. It's kind of our version of a takeaway, isn't it? We yeah. From we don't have, well, we don't know if we have a really good takeaway near us. So this is actually the Charlie Bingham um, chicken tikka masala and chicken korma and spinach dal side portion item. Ever since I listened to the Sheer Lux podcast with Charlie Bingham, he was actually being interviewed. Ooh, Alexa, off. Yeah, I think it was the day after I listened to that podcast, I got one of these curries from Waitrose and it is absolutely amazing. I'm probably a little bit more affordable than a takeaway. Not it's... that much more affordable. Though. No, they are quite expensive. They are quite expensive. I, would, I personally would say they're the most takeaways tastier. Yeah. I reckon possibly not healthier, but like better for you. I don't reckon there's many preservatives and stuff in there. No, it's good quality ingredients. Mm. So we are gonna tuck into this and watch some fresh meat. These are the blooms that Charlie's sister Scarlett got for us and they are so lovely. This is my favorite color rose where they're like cream and pink from Bloom and Wild. Thank you, Skazwana. Right, I don't think I can wait any longer, darling. Yeah, darling. Boom, boom. Yummy. <laughs> 